Pete Davidson slams Kim Kardashian for using him. Welcome back to Binge Worthy Network, and we got a special one for you. As we all know, Kim and Pete broke up, but the slam that you're going to hear from Pete uh, is absolutely phenomenal. I love it, and I can't wait to share with you um, what he says that in just a second. But before we get into it, let's just get a quick recap on what happened. You know, as you know, you know Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian got together back in the day nine months ago when they did the whole SNL bit where Kim showed up as a special guest. And then um, they did the Aladdin carpet ride, the Magic Jasmine thing, which we all remember during Disney. And then all of a sudden they made a kiss. It wasn't a, you know, wet, juicy, slobbery, you know, sexual kiss, but it was just a regular peck. But whatever that, ha whatever happened with that kiss caused uh, Kim to later on ask for Pete's number. Pete gave the number and, you know, voila, it, they decided to link up. And then all of a sudden they, they've got into a relationship. Now, a lot of people, including myself, thought this was just another publicity stunt from the queen of publicity stunts, right? Like, we all know Kim has no shame in her game. She will do whatever she possibly can to elevate that fame. But, you know, as time progressed, it started to look like a real relationship, right? They weren't just showing up to events together. They weren't just, you know, strategically getting photo shots at romantic places to give the buzz of, of a hot new relationship happening. They were actually genuinely, you know, infatuated with each other. You saw Kim going over to uh, Pete's house, Pete going over to Kim's house. You know, you saw Pete going and hanging out with the kids, getting to know them and actually bonding with them. And a thing that Pete David actually shares on with uh, Kevin Hart is he it would be a dream for him to one day, you know, have kids. So in his mind, he's ready to settle down. And Kim knew that. Kim, Pete made it very, very, very clear that this is something that he wanted for the long term. But, you know, Kim's 41 years old with four kids and Yeezy as a husband. And as we know, Yeezy is not the most easiest person to get along with when it comes to exes, right? Because unlike normal people like you and I, when we get into a, a spout with a, a relationship or with an ex, you know, it just goes text messages, a couple friends hear about it, and it's a back and forth bickering party like that. But when it comes to celebrity and it comes to Yeezy, he'll make videos on you and he'll put it all over his social media. And of course, that's what he did with Pete. You know, obviously he had a, a video of Pete being buried alive. Uh, he puts Pete in a rap song and says, you know, if he ever, if, uh, the reason why Kanye actually survived the car accident was because he wanted to beat Pete's you know what. So it's just like one of those things. It was just a major headache. But at the end of the day, you know, Kim, Kim is a you know woman who's 41 years old and can make her own decisions. And uh, Pete's 28, and you know obviously he ended up falling as her boy toy. You know she kind of just cut him loose, cut him fast, and it's unfortunate because Pete's a good guy. And uh, here's the slam. Here's what he had to say. You know in red in um, I guess response to this whole breaking up thing. And he tell a source gives us the slam that he wrote down. He says, I'm just gonna be straight up blunt. I think Kim is an opportunist who got what she wanted out of Kanye by being able to cash in on the black culture being attached to him. And now she wants to go mainstream again and use Pete as a way of stepping back into her whiteness. Boom! Right? You know, as you can imagine, Pete's probably very sore right now, just got broken up with, let go, got cut from the team. And uh, you know that's what he, that's the way he felt. So as we will keep an eye out on the breakup, and we'll give you more updates as they come. And I can't wait to share with you more intriguing videos of this nature. But guys, definitely comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do you think Kim actually used Pete as a as a tool to you know go mainstream and get into that that completely broad culture of everyone in the world even though she's already famous but really tap into that that pete davidson bde as she likes to say or do you think it was just a natural breakup that ran its course and that's just what happened either way let us know and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next video take care have a good one